If the Yankees become sellers at the 2021 trade deadline, it's fair to say that we can expect the fans' focus to shift to the future. And one guy that fans are going to start wanting to pay attention to is right-handed pitcher Luis Hill. Hill is 23 years old. He's got a great pitcher's frame. He's 6'2", 185 pounds. He originally signed with the Minnesota Twins as an international free agent in February of 2015. He made his professional debut with the Dominican Summer League Twins going 1-2 with a 4.63 ERA and then didn't pitch at all in 2016. He spent the 2017 season also with the Dominican Summer League Twins going 0-2 with a 2.59 ERA over 14 starts. However, on March 16th of 2018, the Twins traded Hill to the Yankees for Jake Cave. He spent the season with the Pulaski Yankees and the Staten Island Yankees compiling a 2-3 record and a 1.96 ERA over 12 starts. He had 68 strikeouts in just 46 innings, so good strikeout pitcher. He began the 2019 campaign with the Charleston River Dogs and was promoted to the Tampa Tarpons in July. Over 20 starts between the two teams, he was 5-5 five five with a 2.72 ERA, compiling 123 strikeouts in just 96 innings. After missing the 2020 season because of the pandemic, Hill has burst out of the gates in 2021 and has already been promoted from AA to AAA and is now just one step away from the major leagues. He began at AA Somerset. He made seven starts and posted an impressive 2.64 ERA with 50 strikeouts in 30 innings. That's a credit to his great stuff. He's got an upper 90s fastball that can sometimes hit triple digits. In AAA, things have not been quite as easy so far. Through his first four starts, he's 2-0, but he's got a 4.26 ERA. He has 22 strikeouts and 15 walks in 19 innings. That's way too many walks for 19 innings, but his strikeouts prove that his stuff plays at AAA. Luis Hill is probably someone who could be called up in an emergency right now, but you probably won't see him until at least when the rosters expand in September but most likely 2022. He's also a candidate for a trade because he's got that great arm, but personally I think the Yankees should try and hold on to him if they can. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps other Yankees fans find the channel. If you really enjoyed it, check out the swag section. We've got tons of great designs to support all your favorite Yankees. And if you simply cannot get enough Yankees content, check out the podcast version of this channel, The Freeze by NYY Recaps, available wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Derek. Thanks for watching.